This is a Android ZTE K888 Trek 2 tablet. And today I'm going to upgrade the Android version over here from 6 to 7. It's on Forum XDA Developers. Hopefully, this firmware file, top one, B15, is will still be available in the future. It's a pretty old tablet, it's like 7 8 years old tablet. Went to the Google Drive that whoever's sharing this and has the B15. Again, I need B15. Strange because I think on AT&T's website this is the B17 update, so I downloaded that one instead. And I'll be trying to use that. So I clicked here on download and I downloaded that as well as download the instructions. The instructions are pretty self-explanatory which is nice. It says make sure you have enough battery put the upgrade onto the root of the SD card and that's it. So I think the hardest part is probably pressing the power key and press the volume up key to get into recovery. Got my SD card which I'm going to insert in. I'm trying to copy that firmware file. It looks like I don't have to do anything to it. I just need to copy it, which I'm going to do. Copy. And I need to go to my thing over here. That's the flash drive. Biggest problem might be I need to reformat the uh, the SD card again, but we'll see if it recognizes. It's gonna take three minutes, so so where the power button is is also where the SD card slot is. I just need to. Hold it down. So power button over here. Need to insert it in here. I think it goes like this. That's it. Uh, SD card was detected, which is good. I'm gonna go power it off. And so I need to do power and volume up, I believe. So here we go. I think I pressed the right buttons. Maybe I pressed the wrong button. I don't think I did the right thing. Let's try this again. This is volume up, I guess, and this is power. Pressing and holding. There. Oh. I saw it. Let's do it again. No, it keeps on shutting off every time I let go of the power button. I mean, yeah, let go of the volume button. Oh, now it's restarting. Last time, I'm going to press the power, but then hold the volume up key. Press power, hold volume up key. Press power. Volume up key. So frustrating. Okay. As soon as it turned on, I press the volume up key.
boot it up. So the instructions say to go over here. Gosh. Placed. Let's restart it again. Press and hold power button. Restart. Pressing the volume up button over here. So it loads. The problem is if I let go of the power button, it's going to reboot. So I'm still holding the power button. And now it turned off as usual. I'm gonna do this again. See, it keeps on rebooting. It's very annoying. I'm gonna move the volume key. Okay, I'm over there. I'm gonna let go of the volume by. Gosh, that was frustrating. And I want to apply update from SD card. So use the volume keys to go up and down. For the instructions, that's what I'm supposed to do. And it's not letting me do it. Sorry, you can't SD card upgrade. I'm going to try formatting the SD card and trying again. Over and out. So the step I was missing is I think I'm supposed to extract all. And then copy the zip file that's inside. So go into the folder. There's another folder. And here's the update zip. I need an update zip. So I'm gonna copy that. Where's copy? Down here, copy. And select the SD card. So I'm gonna SD card over here, right click, paste. I should really read the instructions on forums XDA. It does say to, you should extract the zip file from this and put it into the SD card. Gonna put the SD card back in. Going back to here. Again, use the volume up and down to move the selection. I want the third option, update from SD card, and press the power button to select it. And still saying, sorry, can't update. Let me reset this or turn it off. to just reset it fine so sorry can't update let me try and of the instead of the b17 update I'm gonna try the b15 downloaded and copied update.zip I'm gonna hopefully not get this message 
but I'm still getting it. So I'm stuck. I'm watching this video here and it just told me that I have to enable OEM unlock. That's Resonance giving me that error. Okay, settings. So I go about tablet. Over here under build number, press it a few times to Turn on developer mode, go back, scroll down, there should be developer options, turn on US debugging, and then I need to find OEM unlocking, enable, and that was the thing that was screwing me up, and then I just need to go through the process, it should work now, I think, so.